These spectra are measured from different film thicknesses of PP hex on the silicon dark side. These are separate measurements, so as you might expect, the energy calibration is not perfect. So what we'll do is, first of all, run through and calibrate each one of these spectra based on the survey uh, carbon 1s peak. And we'll do this using an option that lets us go over an interval. So I specify an interval which is 330, 270. So this is going to be from somewhere beyond this region here. Let me just. So I've got 330 about here through to 270. And if I specify that the value I want is for this uh, carbon 1s peak is 285 then it's going to calculate from this set of intensities in the interval as specified the peak maximum and when I say apply this is going to apply to the first VAMAS block displayed in the active tile so one of these has been assigned an instruction that tells it to calculate the peak in an interval and assign the peak maximum to 85. Now having applied it to the first one I can now propagate to, from the first one to the others and when I do this we will obtain an approximation to the calibration for all of these spectra. And just to make sure that I retain the calibration I'm going to take a copy of these in a new file. And I'm going to tick the process data only. So now I have a set of spectra that have all been aligned based on the carbon 1s spectra and they have no processing history because I've got the raw, in other words they've all been shifted. Calculating the film thickness relies on uh, characterizing the shape of these backgrounds in relation to the peak intensity. So what we need to do is define a Tugar background that is going to give us a good approximation to the background and also the peak area if we if it works well. So we'll create a background and although I've created one here this is uh, on the first spectrum again in the active tile so what I'm going to do is specify that this should be 30 EV ahead of the peak position so I've set that at 315 and on the other end I'm going to specify 270 and this gives us a an interval and I want to use a U3 Tugar but the U3 Tugar is, doesn't really have any uh, um, predefined parameters that will work for this particular type of data and we have a polyform of the Tugar background which is predefined. If I set that first that's going to give me uh, a set of parameters and if I return it to U3 Tugar background type and I don't want to initialize the parameters I've now got a, a, a background which is defined by the pollen one in terms of these four coefficients here that it were previously previously set up for a material I think we'll give an average width of say three and that helps to tie the data to the background without too much influence from noise and I need to propagate this to the other spectra. So now let's have a look at how that works for a a thick film. And we can see we're getting a, a fairly decent fit of the background to the data. We're going to calculate the B parameter, which is this one here. Let me just this is the B parameter in the universal uh, in the uh, four parameter universal cross section and that's the one that we're going to use to characterize the film thickness and we also need the area of this peak here let's just step through these so I'm holding the control key down so I can maintain the interval 
and I can now have a look and see that to a reasonable approximation the background is fitting nicely to these data so this is going to give me my B1 in the calculation and in order to extract that B1 value I need to specify using the tag field a key string which is cross underscore section underscore B and that will be crucial when I use the custom report to extract the B parameter when I do the uh, reporting table. So I've called that B1 and now I'm going to add another region which I'm going to identify the peak and this time I'm going to call that not a, a U3 but I'm going to give that a background type skip. And the idea of the skip background is, and I'll set the average width to zero because it has no influence whatsoever on the skip background because the skip background uses whatever background has been calculated by the columns preceding it so we've got a U3 Tugar that has calculated a background and now the skip will use that background and over the interval that I've specified it'll integrate the peak area and that will be the value that we see here now I don't want to use the cross section so I need to change that and I'm going to use another key string which is raw area CPS EV so that's going to give me the raw intensity when I use again the, the custom report using tags I'll be able to use the raw intensity and this is going to be my AP my area of the peak and we'll propagate that so now we will find that each and every one of these these spectra have been set up with two regions and these two regions overlap and that's because the each the second region is using the first region as the background and that we now have the tag field set and the name set so if we go to the custom report and I ask for the regions it's going to give me these two values here so AP and B1 and if I press tag when I get the, them selected here in the right hand side if I press tag defined report I will get a table of the AP values and the B1 values from these data.